Praise the Lord. Welcome to the Bible study tonight. I'm hoping that you guys are all in line with us right now. Our God is good. Let's dive on into it. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, dear Lord Jesus, for this Bible study. Father, we ask that you will bless it to the nourishing of our souls. Give us guidance in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, we're over in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 20. And we're going to go ahead and get it started. And a shout out to everyone. I'm hoping that Tyra Griffin is online and I'm hoping that Renata is online. So let's go ahead and get, get it started. Let's just jump right into it. Proverbs 10 verse 20 says, The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. So in breakdown of this, brothers and sisters, we're going to talk about choice silver versus little worth. That tongue uh, that is of choice silver and a heart that's of little worth. All right. The more you know and understand, the more valuable your tongue becomes, right? Because of the fact that we cannot talk what we don't know. Effective teachers know the material. All right. Effective teachers know the material. They have utilized the reason why they know the material, meaning no means to have a relationship with. Right. The reason why they know the material is because when they were taught it, and I'm talking about effective, to be an effective teacher. When they were taught it, they lived it out. They applied it. So that's where the understanding comes from. And it is the same thing. And this is effective or this is a blessing to us. When we are parents and we have a tongue of choice silver, guess what we're going to do? We're going to be able to instruct our children effectively, right? When we are uh, teachers in the school, because we have understanding, we're going to be able to teach the students effectively, right? And so it, it does not matter. Wherever we are in life, whatever we are doing, our what we know or what we have a relationship with as far as knowledge is concerned that is what's going to effectively teach someone, right? And so again, the word of God saying that the tongue of the just is as choice silver. Why? Because they know God. They know God. And that's all that they choose to know is God. Not to say that they don't learn any other thing out there, but first and foremost, the just knows God, and the just is going to automatically speak about what he or she knows. They're not going to speak about the things of darkness, of which the Bible even says don't even make mention of the things that they do. In other words, don't even teach it to anyone. Don't even tell it or teach it to anyone, giving them instruction in the way of darkness. Because the just teaches what the Holy Spirit teaches them. And so, and so therefore, brothers and sisters, uh, you don't put an instructor up there who doesn't know the material, right? Who has not utilized the material in any avenue of life. Because for the students to be able to come up, they need to be fed the wisdom of what that, teacher's, that teacher knows. And so that's the reason why, again, the word of God tells us, brothers and sisters, to keep our hearts with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life. Right. The issue of life, the things that are uh, uh, or uh, the things that we know, the things that we allow to enter into our heart will begin to crystallize into into a reality. And it's either going to be destructive to us or others if we are fools, or either it's going to be a blessing to us and others if we are wise. And brothers and sisters, that's the reason why uh, your heart needs to go after, need to study. 
Your heart needs to get understanding because you want a tongue of choice silver, valuable silver, pure silver. I like what the Apostle Paul said. The Apostle Paul said these words. He said, yet in the church, I had rather speak five words with my understanding. Notice this, brothers and sisters, with his understanding. Again, you cannot effectively speak that which you don't understand. That which you don't understand, you feed it to others. Or, or that which you understand, rather, whether it is good or evil, we automatically feed it to other people. We automatically put it in people's heart, right? If we understand foolishness, then guess what? We're going to feed foolishness in somebody else because you got to communicate. The, the word tells us pretty much that uh, judgments must start at the house of God, right? We use that as uh, saying revival starts with us a lot of times in preaching. It starts at the house of God because we teach what we understand. Our That tongue is a flame, right? That sets on fire, I believe it says, the course of nature. And if we want to set somebody on fire the right way, then we have to understand valuable things. And the most valuable thing that you can understand is God. The most valuable wisdom you can understand is the wisdom that comes from God. And so therefore, we got to make ourselves valuable in the knowledge of the Lord. Not stupid and not simple and not a, a knowing foolishness. Because again, uh, as the saying goes, it takes one. <laughs> it takes one to know one, right? When we receive foolishness, we're going to feed it. We're going to feed it because that's what we know. And if it's destructive to us, guess who else is going to be destructive to? It's going to be destructive to everybody around us, including our wives, including our husbands. These marriage, these people get to, uh, they want a healthy marriage, but they don't know anything. They don't understand anything. They don't study anything that, that causes a healthy marriage to be developed. So what do they do? They're going to feed their spouse what they know. And if all they know is foolishness, that is exactly what they're going to reap in their marriage or any relationship. We call these people, be, they are intoxicated. They, 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 are, they are toxic. That's what we call them. So the Paul said, yet yeah, in the church, I had rather speak five words with what? My understanding that by my voice I might teach others than 10,000 words in an unknown tongue. The only tongue that's, that works without understanding is the Holy Spirit, which is mainly between the person and God. That is the only tongue that works without understanding because the Holy Spirit uh, prayer, when we pray in the Holy Spirit, it is a heavenly language that we are speaking that we cannot understand. And it's only beneficial for the person in general. It's only beneficial for the person praying to God because he don't know what he need to pray for as he ought to know, right? And, uh, the Holy Spirit helping our infirmity. And that is the, or infirmities. And that is the only tongue that you can speak without understanding that will help you. But it's not necessarily there to help others because there has to be an interpretation. Listen to this. When the tongue come to help others, then someone with an understanding is going to speak uh, an interpretation of the tongue so that the people hearing can benefit from it. So the tongue that gets the interpretation or the mind or the ear that gets the interpretation and begin to speak or interpret that unknown tongue is going to be the choice silver tongue to the listener. Not the man just speaking in tongues. 
because no one can understand it unless there's an interpreter. And what are you talking about, Pastor Davis? What I'm saying is tonight you speak what you understand. Guess what? I'm going to go about this deeper. You dream what you understand. And it affects you. Your understanding affects everything about you. The way you understand it, what you make of it, how you take it, who you are, as far as listening, what you allow in, it affects everything about us. And that's what people don't get. Well, I'm, 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 I'm working here at this job making $5 an hour. Check your understanding. I'm working at this job making $10 an hour. You're not happy about it. Check how you understand life. Who are you? Uh, I, I can't, I'm not making it. I, I keep sinning against God. Check out your understanding. I keep messing up, man. I don't, I don't know what to do. That means you don't understand something. You're not, you're not working on yourself enough to where you broaden yourself. And, and by getting the wisdom and getting the knowledge and getting the understanding to be, to say, to be better in your life. Check your understanding if there's a failure somewhere. I'm not looking at it right. All right. And so therefore, we need to we need to really, really do an evaluation because the Bible speaks of a heart that's of little worth. You, you know what I'm saying? It's all right. And I'm teaching from the aspect of a mess. It's OK coming in here saying, OK, Pastor, I have a heart of little worth. Right. And I'm not talking about wickedness. I'm trying and, and wickedness is of little worth. Yes. But the thing is, what I'm talking about is if our life seems to be of little worth to us, we need to do an examination. What is inside of me making my life of little worth? And so therefore we begin to pray and we begin to study, we get the knowledge and get the understanding, and then we become more valuable. And you can. You can become as valuable as you want. You can become as valuable as you want in God. You can become as valuable as you want in life. It's up to you if you want to be the VP. It's up to you if you want to be valuable. And sometimes we understand like this. I just don't have it like that. I ain't got it like that. It's not that. You just ain't got it. And if I ain't got it, that means I can go get it. Right? So when people say, I just don't have it like that. When people say, I just don't have it like that because I was brought up a certain way. Because they assume that the person was brought up in church and stuff. Not even knowing the person's past. They assume that they were brought up in an upstanding family. They assume that uh, they were born in wedlock and they had a good education and all this, living off in an assumption. Dark understanding lives off of assumptions instead of facts. Don't, don't be like that. The only tongue that works without understanding, again, is the Holy Spirit, which is mainly between you and God. Effective, te effective teachers with choice silver tongues refuse rubbish data. Refuse rubbish data. Refuse trash information. You know what? That's where we can start. That's where we can start if we are a mess. Refuse trash. Don't let the devil put trash in your heart. Right? Right? Don't let people put trash in your heart. No garbage allowed here. This is not Satan's dumping site. This is not my best friend's dumping site. Because whatever you allow to come in here, whatever you allow to penetrate your head is going to determine your future with God and in life, with God and with man. 
And this is the thing, though. This is the sad thing. It's hard to get people to believe this stuff. And what's sad about it, when you know it works, when you see it working in your own life, right? God, help me to understand. And helping me to understand does not mean sit there and do it and doing nothing and waiting on God to drop something in your head. He's already dropping something in your head. We got to go get the knowledge and the understanding. We got to go after it and God will begin to open up doors that's all around you. And as one man said, life has a way to holding on to all the answers has the keys to all the answers when we have a reason. But if you don't have a reason and we make an excuse saying, I just ain't got it like that. Guess what? Life will not reveal to us the, the, re, the, 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 uh, the answers. The answers are in your face and it's in your face tonight. Some of us are going to look at this video one time. And we're not going to go back over the material so that we can get the influence or we can get the gas. We can get so full and so uh, so moved in faith to seek it out. So therefore, don't be a little worth. Have a tongue that's a choice silver that everyone wants to hear. Because you're glorifying God. Have a tongue of choice silver because you see you've been walking. You have a relationship with wisdom. <laughs> Don't be in bed with foolishness. Be in bed with wisdom. And you can do that. You can do that. And you start by refusing trash. I'm going to tell you, some of us will grow um, quite, quite, uh, I want to say the word is substantially. We will, we will grow, we will grow a lot tonight if we will only do this one thing, refuse all trash. Because when you refuse all trash, you're going to develop a hunger to fill yourself with wisdom. Refuse, can you do that? Refuse all trash. I'm saying this out of love because I hurt for people and, and, and things, and I want them to come up higher. For me to even get the little bit of success I've gotten to get to where I'm at is because of the fact that there had to be some trash refusal somewhere. For me to get saved, I had to reject the devil. I had to reject the offers that were coming into my heart when the bid was made. As the Holy Ghost was convicting me and dealing with me back in uh, uh, no, uh, October, November, it's 1992. I got filled with the Holy Spirit October, uh, uh, November 11th, I believe it was, 1992. It's because I rejected something. I rejected trash. And trash out. Keep the trash out. And fill your heart with wisdom and study of the word of God. Number one, first and foremost, and also learn something. Because the church, God needs you to have a skill about you. And I'm a, I, I don't care. I tell you straight up, God needs you to know how to do something. Right? Bring something, make yourself valuable that way you can say, hey, I know how to do that. Hey, I know how to operate this type of a system. Hey, I know how to speak this language. Hey, pastor, I can do this. Hey, reverend, I can do that. Hey, reverend, I can play the piano. Because I refuse trash and I study things that are going to be beneficial to God and they're going to be beneficial to me. What's wrong with that? And you make yourself valuable. You become the go-to man, the go-to woman. 
And we all want that. Everybody wants that. But nobody wants to refuse the trash and study. And get the sil get the silver tongue. Go after the silver tongue. All right. Now I know that the book of Proverbs is talking about wicked versus righteous, the just versus the uh, uh the just versus the unrighteous. I know it's talking about that. But man, that show sure enough jumps out because of the fact that a lot of people just don't want to stretch. Amen. 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 Work hard on yourself than you do on your job. Work hard on yourself than you do on your job. Game changer. And it is not a waste of time going after the silver tongue. All right, because people need you to have that silver tongue. Again, effective teachers with choice silver tongues refuse rubbish data because what goes through the tongue with imp, uh, what goes uh, through the tongue with, that has impact on people is what you understand only. And that's the reason why um, the wicked can sound so convincing to someone who is looking for love or looking for whatever. <laughs> the wicked, that gangbanger can sound so convincing. Hey, man, look what you can have. They say it with emotion. Hey, man, you hang with us, man. We got your back. You come with us. You chill with us. We'll be, man, you will have this. You will have that. Because of the fact that that's what they understand and they have, they have passion about what they say. Satan has passion about what he talks about. That's the reason why he takes people at will, the Bible says. Do you know the word of God says that? The wicked mind, the wicked devil, the wicked spirit takes people at will because he has passion. His, his words have impact because foolishness is what he understands. And it causes people to see the um, the so-called reward, not knowing the curse that's behind it or not realizing they can go to jail, not realizing they can go to hell, not realizing that they can wind up committing, uh, uh, killing someone or hurting themselves. They're not even seeing it. All they know, they just feel the, the force, the impact of the teaching that comes from wicked spirits and they do it. Because they are moved by that man who understands darkness. And it works in the good also. It works in the good also. You see, you can understand fake. <laughs> and you can understand truth. And you can cause people to, to live in la-la land. Just like these terrorists do. They, they're over in fairy tale. But now they got to stand before God. Because they now they, they are faced with the truth. Because you can't be a terrorist. You can't go around blowing up people and, <laughs> and not think that you're going to stand before the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. No matter you can say it's fake or whatever, but God. Does not deny himself. Right? So let's be let's be effective in the truth. Not effective in the phony and the fake and in darkness. Listen to this. The word of the Lord has an emphasis here in Psalm chapter 51, verse 12 through 14. Psalm chapter 51, verses 12 through 14. I speak that which I know. <laughs> I speak that which I know. I want to have wisdom, y'all. You can you can be saved in everything and still in a lot of ways be unwise. I want to be saved and wise. Because I know this sounds funny because you got some people who are saved. They are saved, but they just ain't wise. And I know I said ain't, but 
But they can't. It's like it's like a lot of times, oftentimes, people are just not wise because they don't seek more of God. They don't want to grow. And they, for some reason, think that they can't and they got it from somewhere. They think that they can't uh, grow. They think they can't uh, um, be on top of their game or get smart. I know the feeling. I look at some folks, I say, man, they sharp as a whip. But now I say, one of these days, I'm going to be sharp as a whip. And I hear them talking, they able to catch and catch on to things and they can, they can, they got these, these words and stuff and, and you got to really follow them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to sit there and go, <laughs> but I said, one of these days, I'm going to be able to be sharp as a whip to where I can just sit there and relaxingly have a conversation with them and know everything, what they're doing, what they're talking about and all that good stuff, right? Because I believe I can. And you got to believe you can. And not only believe you can, but work on I can. Psalm chapter 51 verse 12 says this. This is David, I believe, that's speaking here. He said, this is David speaking. Okay. It's 810. Okay. The word says, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Watch this. Listen to this. 51 verse 12, talking about the choice silver tongue. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, right? And uphold me with thy free spirit. Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee so how does he teach he said when that happens to me i'll be able to talk about it i'll be able to teach them because my tongue will be choice silver then he also says deliver me from blood guilt guiltiness O god Thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. He said, blood guiltiness. Somewhere, obviously, he was he felt guilty about shedding blood of, of some sort. So when he said, deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, deliver me from that. And my tongue, my choice silver tongue, not worthless heart, will shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. It will sing because now I'm relieved because you have forgiven me of my sins. Now I can sing. You feeling? Me? All right. Now let's look at this. We're going to hurry up and, and, and get out of here. The word tells us over in the book of Proverbs chapter 10, verse 21, it says, the lips of the righteous feed, what y'all, many, good gracious, you want your family to be fed, you want your spouse to be fed, you want the people who are looking up to you to be fed, become righteous, you got to become before you can feed. Become righteous. I, I had to become before I could do this. I couldn't feed you with anything until I became a faithful servant. God, until God counted me faithful to place me in the ministry. Else, there is no feeding. There, there, there is no uh, ministry. So the Lord counted me faithful, placing me in the, in the ministry. Yes. Because the lips of the righteous feed many, but fools, the word says, die for lack of wisdom. Guess what? You're not going to feed anyone. You're not going to feed anyone that's a, a sustainable substance, something that will be fulfilling, something that will keep them, something that will bless them. No, you won't feel them. You won't feed them. Feed them with the stuff that will help. And guess what? Our lack of wisdom kills us. Hey, man, why in the world would I want to live a life and be a fool? Look, and I'm talking from the aspect of a mess. I, I don't like it. You know what, man? It, here's the thing. 
you can you can do anything. You can live for God. You can you can literally see Jesus at the end of this life. You can win all kind of people to the Lord, right? When we begin to say, God, I am going to study. I am going to take nothing in but that which is righteous and that which is good. That's all I'm taking in. And I'm God because I can see the benefit in it. And the thing is, you have to be able to see it. And this is the this is the funny thing. I can't see it. God trying to show it to you. The God who can do all things is trying, who is all powerful, is trying to show it to you. He's saying just uh, what, what we got to do is just let God show it to us. He's all powerful. Don't worry about you can't you. You got to say, I am going. I see it. If we would claim, I see it tonight, don't sit there and say, I don't see it. Because you are shutting your eyes and closing your ears. When you say, I don't see it, and God trying to show it to you. Say, I see it. I hear it. It's mine. And I'm going to take this knowledge, and I'm going to take this wisdom that I received from this study, and, and I'm going to run with this thing in the Lord. And it will lift you up. It will lift you up out of the gates of any destructive thing or any destructive vice that's around you. Right? And so let's move forward. Let's move forward in the Lord and get wisdom. Get Jesus on the inside if you don't have him. It, it, okay, it's about that time. It's time. All right. I'm trying to see who's all on here. I'm trying to see. So I get it. 10 and 4. Okay, that's what's up. Hey, may God bless you real good. I'm, I apologize for the late there. But uh, anyway, church online tomorrow night at uh, 730. May God bless you and I love the mess out of you. God bless.